Well, for any cancer patient who's gone through chemo, one of the telltale signs is hair loss. But a new technology is hoping to change that. It's called scalp cooling, and a patient who's used it successfully says she wants other people to know all about it. My biggest fear, I didn't want to be defined as a cancer patient. I didn't want my kids to think, oh, my mom is sick. When Laura Brown found out she had stage one breast cancer last summer, she wasn't ready to tell her two children why she would be losing her hair. So when the 37-year-old discovered cold caps, she jumped on the opportunity to save her precious locks. So when you actually take it off, your hair freezes and mm. you can see all the icicles. Wow. It slows down the metabolism of the cell so that you're not getting the full, the full hit of chemotherapy in your hair follicles and it's not damaging your hair follicles to the point where your hair is falling out. Over the last two years, just 30 patients have used the technology distributed by Cold Comfort Canada. With only five units in the country, the company is hoping more hospitals will invest in the technology. We would like it to be adopted as a as another tool in the treatment of cancers for patients. It's, I, we believe it's psychosocial and not a cosmetic issue. Right now, patients can pay $400 per session to lease the machines, but doctors and hospitals have to sign off before they can be brought in during treatment. So it's important that the doctors become aware of what this can and cannot do. The head of Princess Margaret's Breast Medical Oncology Unit points out the technology doesn't work with all cancer drugs, including one most commonly used for breast cancer. And he believes some hospitals may be reluctant to get on board because of the extra time patients will need in an already busy cancer ward. Well, you have to start the scalp cooling about a half hour ahead of time and it has to be continued for an hour or so afterwards, 90 minutes some say. So you have to have space to put the patients. Still, Brown, who's now cancer free and with her full head of hair, wants more patients to feel like she did. You look in the mirror every single day and you see you. You don't see a sick person and I think that overall affects the way that you go through this. Now when it comes to the cost, some say it's actually comparable to buying a wig. Real hair can cost patients in the thousands. Outside Princess Margaret Hospital, Janella Massa, City News.